Many of us will be spending this holiday weekend out on the water in a lake, river, or bay. Sales of recreational power boats boomed during the pandemic. While they leveled off a bit last year, an estimated 250,000 new boats were sold in 2022. Of course, the vast majority of those were gas-powered boats. But just like with cars, the future of boating may be electric. Joy Benedict found one company that's trying to power a sea change. It's the season of sunshine and sea. But sometimes the sound that takes you there cuts through the silence and peace that comes with being on the water. But now the wave of the future sounds different. What's your favorite thing? The silence. Everything's on. Right now you can hear nothing. No noise pollution. Francis Pickworth has been driving boats professionally for more than a decade, but now he's testing them for tech startup ARC, offering the first of its kind in electric watercraft. The technology in, in electric boats is just amazing. Uh, it's, it's the way forward, it's the, the future. It's called the ARC-1, an all-electric 24-foot cruiser with power to hit speeds of more than 40 miles an hour. You have instant torque. <laughs> and instant fun. That's torque, right? That is torque. <laughs> this is my favorite way to spend time. I like fishing, I like water skiing, wakeboarding. I like just cruising. Mitch Lee is the CEO of the Los Angeles-based company and sometimes captain of his experimental ship. We went from absolutely nothing, just two people and an idea, to delivering customer boats to people in under two years. With a background in engineering, he teamed up with a friend from college, Ryan Cook, to electrify the industry, which is why a large portion of his team came from SpaceX. This is the very first build station for our boats. Built by hand, the Ark One is constructed less like a boat and more like something headed out of this world. The Ark One is a fully aluminum boat, which when you squint starts to look pretty close to a rocket in the sense that it needs to be light, it needs to be strong, and so, so that talent and that experience from the group from SpaceX directly translated over to what we were doing. But Lee says the power is designed after the technology in electric vehicles, specifically the Tesla, as their team of engineers built the batteries first and then the whole of the vessel was crafted around them. These battery packs are huge. How yep. much space does it actually take up? of the boat. So what's very cool about this boat is the battery packs essentially make up the floor of the boat and they run from approximately here on the boat all the way to the back of it. The weight of the battery is half of the 7,000 pound boat anchoring the ship while the aluminum help keeps it light for speed and serves another purpose. Being an aluminum boat, we can also directly benefit from the, that cooling using the hole itself. So it's basically like a big giant aluminum cooler. Exactly. So we limit the speed right now to 41. You can go a lot faster. <laughs> On the outside, the Arc One has all the luxuries you'd expect. A backup camera, temperature and battery gauges similar to an EV, but with no gas tank or giant engine, there's more room for seating and hidden champagne coolers. That's nice. That's got some get up. Oh, yeah, it does. But that performance doesn't come cheap. The Arc One retails for $300,000 and still sold out in months. We know that it is not necessarily at a mass market affordable price, so future boats will have lower costs associated with them. But when you think about boats, they really are a perfect candidate for being electric because they go out on the water and they come back. That's right. Electric boats make a tremendous amount of sense because they solve some of the most acute ownership problems that people have hundreds of dollars a day to take a boat out on a lake. With gas. With gas, that is, uh, compared to just tens of dollars to refuel an electric boat. Not having to fill up would be kind of nice at the end of the day. 
Andrew Hard owns several boat rental clubs in Southern California. He says his only electric boat right now tops out at just five miles an hour, but remains one of his most popular reservations. The other thing is the maintenance on these is really easy. So an engine, and a gas engine is going to have a lot of moving parts. We do a lot of maintenance to those boats. These are the easiest boats we have to maintenance. At this speed, you can go for well over a day on a, on a single charge. Lee says the next generation of ARC boats will be lower in cost and target the power-hungry market of water sports. All right, ready? The force behind the helm is addictive. And it's calm, a contradiction. As the newest technology on the waves may be the one thing that brings us all closer to nature. How'd I do? It's a great well. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Joy Benedict, off the coast of Southern California. <laughs> I love Joy's reaction. Ah, uh, ooh. <laughs> That's how you should be on a boat. It'll be interesting to see because the design I know for so many people that are boaters is, is something that they love yes. and that may be a different thing and so will that develop to me as costs come down? Yeah. The cost though, $300,000. This is why it's good to have friends with boats. Yes. <laughs> Regardless, because a regular boat is expensive also. Yeah. We were, a used boat around that size would be about half the cost right now, a little bit more than half the cost, but that's a used boat, not a new one. Yeah, only because we don't know what the cost of a real boat that size would be because we don't have boats. Just have a Just friend that has a friend boat. With boats. Friends with boats.